welcome back to CBRS, the one and only radio station for all things comic book oriented. I'm your host with the toast, Obadiah Oldbuck. Today we have a very, very special guest. He's not, like, famous or anything, but he is very cool. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome... Albie Smith. Hey, what's up? Thanks so much for having me on the show, Obadiah. You are welcome whenever, Alb. Can I call you Alb? Sure. Now, Alb, I understand you've brought some comics to read today, is that correct? That's correct, Obadiah. I thought I'd read a few panels from uh, Calvin and Hobbes, Ooh. which is my favorite comic book. That sounds great. And I'm going to start with a little uh, a preface, if you will. I will. Thank you. Wonderful. Well, the panels I brought today are from Calvin's Adventures as Spaceman Spiff. Mm. Spaceman Spiff is interplanetary explorer extraordinaire, and he's also Calvin's escape from reality. Reality being his nagging mom and bath time, or his pesky teacher and last night's homework. My favorite part about Spiff is that, well, he always loses. <laughs> his ship crash lands, his Ray Zorcher misfires, the Zorgs of Planet X-212 capture him, you know? Of course. I mean, the poor guy never gets a break. It always gets worse. And I think that's what Spiff is trying to tell us here. You know, that's that's one of the remarkable things about life. It's never so bad that it can't get worse. <laughs> wow. And that's, that's supposed to be a good thing, you know? <laughs> Spiff, I right. mean, he doesn't let it get him down. He's still our valiant adventurer in the cosmos. He'll still blast those wild Zontars, even if it gets worse. Anyways, enough preface. Let's do it. Let's do it, Alb. And if I'm not mistaken, you will be... Uh, yes, I will be making all the voices and sound effects. Even if you hear, like, 50 different sounds, which are all going at the same time and all impressively blended together and pan correctly, yeah, that's, that's still me. That's still my voice. Doing all of it. Incredible. For those of you just tuning in, this is CBRS, and we're about to take off with the... Adventures of Spaceman Spiff. Uh. Oh. Hang on, I need to... Okay, I... I... Got it. Jesus, fuck it. <sighs> okay. <clears throat> A red spaceship on the monitor, your vileness. Gah! It's that infernal spaceman spiff! Open fire! And shut that damn thing off! Sorry, sir, that's my bad! For Pete's sake, it's killing a fiddle to the fiddle, man. It would give a single fiddle to the fire fire. Fire! Open fire! <laughs> Spaceman Spiff is hit. He aims for Planet Mach, hoping to find a reputable body shop. We join our hero after a crash landing on the hostile Planet Mach. Ominous figures appear on the horizon. The daring spaceman Spiff lays waste with his death ray Zorcher. But he is hopelessly outnumbered. Surrounded, our hero is taken prisoner and carried to a subterranean dungeon. Still won't talk, eh, Spiff? We'll see about that. You'll never get anything from me, Space Squid. You had your chance, Earthling. Take him to the interrogation room and wash his what? hair. Ah, ah, mom, Mom, you got soap in my eyes on purpose. Stay back or I'll zorch you. If you'd stop thrashing around, maybe it wouldn't happen! Tune in. Spaceman 
Spaceman Spiff explores the outermost reaches of the universe. By, uh, popular request. Planet Bog. Pools of toxic chemicals bubble under a choking atmosphere of poisonous gases. But aside from that, it's not much like Earth. Suddenly, the ground begins to shake. A cloud of dust appears on the horizon. It's a Zorg! Our hero runs for cover, but the Zorg is instantly upon him. Spiff fires his gamma ray Zorper, but it is useless against the monster. The Zorg brings Spiff to an alien lair. Our hero is brought before the Zorg, Despo. So, this is the famed space explorer Spiff. I've waited a long time for this moment, Earthling scum. You have knowledge we need. Cooperate, and we'll kill you rather painlessly. Let's dispense with the formalities, you twisted space crustacean. What is it you want from me? A summary of Lewis and Clark's expedition to the Pacific. Ha! Huh. Wild Zontars couldn't drag that information out of me. Do your worst. You didn't read the assignment, did you, Calvin? The adventures of Wow! Ow, what a treat! I am reeling after that. And I wish you guys could be sitting where I'm sitting, because then you would have seen Albie totally doing all the voices and noises himself. Every single one. That was really nice, man. Real nice. Anyway, I'd like to do a little... Well, a little after-show preface, if you will. I will. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I thought I'd say a few things about, um... Well, actually, I... I just want to talk about Calvin. Because, you know, when we, when we get down to brass tacks, I am Calvin. Calvin is just a boy. He's a boy with ideas. He's a boy with so many ideas that he gets into trouble because of it. And because he gets into trouble, he, he comes up with more ideas. Calvin says that he always tries to make everyone's day a little more surreal. Calvin doesn't know if there really is a god, but he does know somebody's out to get him. Calvin isn't dumb, he just has a command of thoroughly useless information at his fingertips. Calvin is afraid that all his experiences will someday become stories with no point. That's especially scary because right now, those experiences feel like everything. Calvin thinks it will all make sense when you grow up, but I guess recently Calvin's realized it actually makes less sense when you grow up. And even though he can look to the future for answers, the problem about the future is that it keeps turning into the present. Calvin knows that life is like topography. There are summits of happiness and success, flat stretches of boring routine, and valleys of frustration and failure. Somehow, though, Calvin's figured it out. And when I say that Calvin's figured it out, I mean that he hasn't figured it out at all. But what the hell? Who has figured it out? The answer is no one. No one's, no one's figured it out. Yet here I am, despite the fact that I can't figure things out. Life is just one big fat murder mystery, Obadiah. And I'll probably never catch the killer. <laughs> CBRS, you just tuning in? Spaceman Spiff. <laughs>